Cause we want retribution Oh yeah, we want retribution Oh yeah, we want retribution Alright guys, it's time to get Soul Guitar in Bloxers. Guy will be interesting and funny as always, so don't forget to subscribe. Okay, why do you need this guitar? Let's start from pros. You can stun enemies, M1 skill has low cooldown, large hitbox and can deal damage to see beasts. You can break enemies instinct, every skill of that gun has high damage and you can regenerate your health with that gun. But we have some cons. Some moves has very huge BFX and you can block not your enemy's sight and also yours by that. High level requirement to obtain and some moves are can be easily avoided. So it's your decision whether to get this guitar or not, but I recommend and you do it. Okay, господа, let's start from requirements. First, you need to build level 2300. Next, you need to collect some items to be able to craft the guitar. And I suggest getting these items before you'll do the soul guitar puzzle. First, you need Buddha for it. That's important because you need to fight a lot, so without it, it will not be easy. Next, you need a dark fragment. This item, you will need to upgrade some of your weapons and also to craft soul guitar. You can get this fragment from the boss dark beard which you can summon in the second sea. To do that, you have to find the Fist of Darkness. This item you also need to obtain the Cyber Craze, so I'll already explain how to get this fist in my video. Link will be in description. Or just click here. I wanna repeat this. After you've got this Fist of Darkness, you can breathe calmly, because it was the hardest thing in this guide. Next, everything will be much easier. With this fist, you go to the dark arena, you can find it behind the green zone. Put this fist on the aller on that island and summon Dark Beard. After defeating him, you'll get the dark fragment with a 100% chance. If you don't want to get this fist by yourself, you can go on the public server and wait until someone summons him. Alright, the next thing is 250 ectoplasm. It also can be obtained in Dead Sea. So grab your boat and sail to the cursed ship. In this location you can drop ectoplasm from any NPC in this ship. But I recommend you kill them in the kitchen, because in that location they are very close to each other. So just use Buddha, make some tea and start greening this ectoplasm. You'll spend around 40 minutes to get how much you need, I've spent just exactly like that. Ok, after that you can freely leave the second sea and go to the last sea. The next step will be farm fragments. You need 5000. To get this amount you need to do raids. You now have Buddha, so you can beat any raid you want, except for Buddha and Do of course. But you're just collecting fragments, so you don't need to do a hard raid. So grab the cheapest fruit from your inventory and start the flame raid. It's the easiest and fastest, you can do this even without any friends in your party. After the raid, you'll get 1000 fragments, so it only takes 5 times. And after you collect enough fragments, you can start the last one farm. You almost collect all the items that you need. And the last thing is 500 bones. To collect them you head to the hunting castle. Here drops bones from every NPCs. But from skeletons you'll get around 1-2 bones. From guys at the red lake you'll get almost the same amount of bones. So I recommend you to farm bones inside the castle. From guys there drops a bigger amount of bones especially from processed mummies downstairs. But I recommend you farm bones right here, because you also can get quests and earn some extra money while farming bones. I prefer doing exactly the same. Ok, after you've got all of the required items, you can start the puzzle. Of course you can start it without collecting anything, but why do you need to cry after you did the job and don't get anything, huh? So, my Hiroshi, it's time to solve the puzzle. First, you need a private server. Why? Of course you can do it in the public server, but can you remember the day when the haunted castle there were no mom's hackers? I can, so buy the private server or ask for someone in our discord, link in description. So to start the puzzle you need a full moon, just hop servers or start the private server and wait around 45 minutes for the full moon. When the full moon starts, you'll see a message that something peeks through the clouds and that means that it starts. Ok, next thing is to go to the haunted castle location. 
grab your boat and sail to it. Next you need the graveyard location, which you can find on the left side of the castle. Go there and you'll find this grave NPC, or wherever it is, and speak to it. Select the pray button in the dialog and click yes. And that start the puzzle. As you can see guys, you don't have any hints or tips or just something to help solve this puzzle. I don't know how a regular player can do this without any guide on YouTube or reading fandom. That's so stupid. Why developers didn't add just something to help solving puzzles in the game? I, I don't know. Well, maybe they love when we suffer. All right, never mind. So where were we? Um, the, the first trial, right. So you need to go to the right side of the castle where the red lake is or red puddle, who knows. And here you need to kill all NPCs at the same time. That's not so hard. Just use Buddha, punch every NPC here and stand in the center. Next, start spamming M1 attacks when NPCs will be around you. And that's it. Don't make mine mistakes. Trying to lower their health first. Don't waste your time and everything will be okay. After your screens black out, you head to the graveyard again. And here you'll see something strange. A lot of signs with the strange symbols. What can you do with that? Oh, just imagine the guy who doesn't have YouTube or didn't know about the internet <laughs> and trying to solve this. <laughs> Rest in peace, my boy. So, what we need to do here? Very easy. You just need to count every grave here on each side and select on which side will be more graves. That's it. As I say, very easy. After another blackout, you need to go inside the castle. As you can see, no hints or any information to do that. How a regular player will understand this? I don't know. All right, all right, all right, all right. Let's go inside. In the castle, go upstairs and straight forward, and you will see the strange door here. Go inside, and you'll see the ghost NPC right there. And you just need to interact with it. Why? For what? I don't know. I'm just trying to find the logical path for this quest. So the next thing is to solve another puzzle. To do that, you need to go there and look closely at that spot. You'll find some goblins and trees. That's the code or something like that. You need to remember it or just take a screenshot of it. Next you go downstairs where the processed movies process. Next you go downstairs where the processed movies are and interact with this panel. You'll see some yellow lines here, so now look at your screenshot. You have two rows and five cells. Where the goblet stands, that must be a line. In the direction of those lines is the position of the goblets. So if the goblet stands vertically, the line must be vertically the line must be vertically too. I hope you understand this. And the other cells must be empty, where just trees grow. That's it, so easy. When you're done, you need to solve the last puzzle. In the middle of that room where you just stand will be large tiles. You need to click on a tile if it has a pipe above or in one direction of that tile. So you just stand on the tile and look for the pipe. And if you find one, just press the tile until the color matches with the pipe. Easy. And after that, you'll find this strange NPC. Go to it. And now you can craft your guitar for 500 bones, 250 ectoplasm, and one dark fragment and 5k fragments. And after that, your mom will be proud of you. And of course, me too. All right, and last thing, upgrading. What do you need for that? You need one dark fragment, which you can get from Dark Beard Boss. Watch the beginning of that video if you forgot. 15 dragon scales, which can be dropped from Dragon Warrior or Archer on the Hydra Island. And 10 magma ores. You can get it from the NPC on the magma island in the first sea or the hull location in the second sea. But I recommend the magma island. Island because it will be much easier and faster. And after that, you can upgrade your guitar with every blacksmith NPC. 